Authorities in France are asking 527 male students and staff of a private school to submit to DNA testing in order to search out an accused rapist. Last September, a 16-year-old girl was attacked in a dark bathroom at the Fenelon Notre Dame Catholic School in La Rochelle. The victim could not identify her assailant, but traces of DNA were found on her clothing. Although the DNA testing is technically voluntary, public prosecutor Isabel Paginel says anyone who refuses would fall under suspicion. She told BFM TV the DNA samples of the innocent would be destroyed after testing. Some human rights activists have criticized the DNA dragnet as a violation of privacy. French Human Rights League President Pierre Tarkovsky called the test disproportionate, threatening, and traumatizing, and accused police of presuming guilt among the school's male population. Why should refusal be considered an admission of guilt? But police report so far no one has refused the DNA screening. One student told France 24 he's happy to participate if it means finding the attacker. Everyone's taking part without any problems because we feel solidarity with the girl who was raped. And we all want to find the perpetrator. Police collected DNA from about 250 people Monday and expect to complete the process by Wednesday. The results should be available in about a month. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.